When we think of NASA, images of rocket launches and distant planets often come to mind. But what if I told you that some of the most groundbreaking explorations are happening right here on Earth, beneath the ocean's surface? Welcome to the uncharted world of the deep sea, where NASA's quest for knowledge is revealing secrets that could redefine our understanding of life itself. In the 1960s, while the world was captivated by the space race, the U.S. Navy embarked on a different kind of mission, CELAB. These underwater habitats were designed to test human endurance and capabilities in the ocean's depths. The challenges they faced, extreme pressure, isolation, and limited resources, mirrored those of space missions. The lessons learned from CELUB not only advanced deep sea diving techniques, but also provided invaluable insights for future space exploration. Imagine descending nearly seven miles into the Earth's crust, into a realm of perpetual darkness and crushing pressure. In 1960, oceanographer Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh did just that, reaching the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench. Their journey revealed life forms thriving where it seemed impossible, challenging our perceptions of life's Fast forward to 2012, filmmaker James Cameron took on a similar challenge, diving solo to the Challenger Deep. Equipped with advanced technology, he captured high-resolution images and collected samples, further expanding our understanding of these extreme environments. The deep sea is home to some of the most bizarre and fascinating creatures on Earth, from bioluminescent fish that create their own light to organisms that withstand immense pressure these life forms have adapted to thrive in conditions that would be lethal to most others. Studying these organisms offers clues about the potential for life in similar extreme environments elsewhere in the universe. NASA says interest in the deep ocean goes beyond curiosity. The agency collaborates with institutions like the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution to develop autonomous underwater vehicles. These robots are designed to navigate and study Earth's deep oceans, serving as prototypes for future missions to explore subsurface oceans on moons like Europa and Titan. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, is believed to harbor a vast ocean beneath its icy crust. NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission aims to investigate this alien sea, assessing its potential to support life. By studying Earth's deep oceans, scientists can better prepare for the challenges of exploring these distant watery worlds. I spent years studying extremophiles, organisms that thrive in Earth's most inhospitable environments. One expedition took me to hydrothermal vents deep in the Atlantic. The life I encountered there, surviving without sunlight and under immense pressure, was astonishing. It made me realize that if life can persist there, perhaps it can exist in similar environments on other planets or moons. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, presents another intriguing case. With lakes of liquid methane and ethane and a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, Titan's conditions are vastly different from Earth's. Yet some scientists speculate that life, vastly different from what we know, could exist there, challenging our understanding of life's requirements. The parallels between deep-sea exploration and space exploration are striking. Both involve venturing into extreme, uncharted territories, pushing the boundaries of technology and human endurance. By studying the unknowns of our own planet, we equip ourselves with the knowledge and tools to explore the cosmos.